In today's video, we are discussing Reaper's stock plugin, Resample-Matic 5000, also known as RS5K, where you can pick up RS5K Manager as a free download, a track template I made for you using RS5K and RS5K Track Manager, and where to find free sample packs for you to use in said sampler. Okay, here is Resample-Matic 5000, also known as RS5K. It is a stock plugin inside of Reaper. And this here, this is the RS5K Manager, which is also free, but you have to go to the internet and download it from repack.com, that's R-E-A-P-A-C-K.com. What you need to do is download it and install it using these instructions here, installation and getting started. It is very important that you put the file in the proper folder or it won't read it. Um, once you do that, you have to restart Reaper. Um, you'll need to go to extensions, repack browse packages you want to select all hit actions and then yeah install and update selection um, which will install everything I'm not going to do it because I've already done it once you've done that you need to go to the actions list you don't open it in a normal effects mode go to the actions list and you type in RS5K. Scroll down to the bottom of the list and on mine is the second to last one. The script is um, MPL RS5K manager. And what I did is I made a shortcut for it. So you highlight that, click add, Type in whatever shortcut you want to use for it. I used F1, so when I hit F1, it opens right there. The other thing you're going to want to do, possibly, is download the second link I'm going to include in the description below. And that will link you. Come on, computer. That will link you to the um, preset that I made for you here, which is basically a track template. Um, once you download that, I believe you can actually put it wherever you want, um, but to actually get it where the rest of your track templates would be, is you go to options, show reaper resource pass, <laughs> excuse me, show reaper resource path. It'll take you to wherever all your Reaper stuff is, and you want to go to Track Templates and drag it into there. Once you have that, you're all set. Just right click on this area over here, insert Track from Template, Open Template, and it'll be this one here, which I named Drum, drum Rack slash Sampler RS. 5k. Open that and at that point you are good to go. It is right here. Um, and we have several instances of it going on. This first one is for pitched instruments which I have going up um, an octave plus a couple notes. Basically 16 pads. And I'm going to, you know, you're, you're going to get it without, um, you know, any samples loaded into it. What you do is just um, drag whatever sample you want to use in there. You can uh, pitch it here. Like, I like to pitch everything to C as the bass note, um, as, as the start note. This was um, an A minor. 
So if you go up three or down nine, that makes it a C. And let's go back to this first project. I got it also turned way down so that it's not overpowering, it's a background sound. Um, what else we got here? This is also um, a pitch sound. Um, just open up the rest of these here. That one and this one here are both just single shots, they're not pitched. Um, so that would be basically this one and this one. Um, one of them I got all this automation going on. If you want to do automation in Reaper and have it automatic like this, what you do is you click on any parameter and if you can't find it, sometimes you gotta click this, go to the back door and you can click on a parameter and then you hit parameter um, I guess I gotta click one first and then parameter modulation MIDI link and you wanna click LFO and then you start messing with all these settings but I got a bunch of that done for you um, to get you going with some cool effects happening um, I was trying to do something similar to what I can do in my Digitact. I couldn't really pull off the exact same thing, but there's some pretty cool stuff happening here. This next one down is basically your drums. We have several instances of RS5K here. I got drums in the first four, and then the rest are just open. Basically, this one's um, C3. Then you go C sharp or D flat, and three, and then it just goes up a step or one pad. Every one goes up, and you can just drag in your sample. Um, if you want to change samples, you can just drag in a new one. Um, if you hit list here, it'll list all the samples you have in there, and you can highlight whichever one you want to use, or you can highlight it and delete it. So this is a quick beat I made in five minutes, not even. If you highlight the MIDI record track, it'll show you all the different pads that have um, instances of the sampler on it. If you highlight this one up here, it'll show you the activity going on with it. pads, you can resize it, you can change the, the format. Um, I also have these routed to effect sends. And some of the effect sends have different modulations going on also. And feel free to change any of these and make your own preset however you want, but this should get you going uh, pretty well. I have the MIDI track set up to record overdub, which basically means every pass through, every layer you add will be added to it. Um, if, if you mess up, just stop recording, go to edit, and undo recording, and it'll just take everything off that you did that round. Um, once you got your MIDI how you want it, if you want to process things further, what you can do is right click here, disable the recording, so you're no longer recording MIDI, and then make sure these are all record enabled, and that the monitors turn on on all of those, and I have them set to record the output. If you have it to record the input, it won't it won't record anything because the input's being rerouted. Um, so record the output. Um, stereo is how I like to do it. Um, if you had the drums separated out, I might do the kick and snare mono. But um, 
this should work. I got all the all the drums are going to be on this track here, and it'll just be one drum track. Then all the instruments will be separate. So make sure your monitoring is on. Make sure re your record enabled. Hit record. And there you go. After it does the loop, instead of hitting stop, if you just hit record again, it'll keep going and it'll just have the last, the last round selected and you can just keep going. And basically you can mute the MIDI track. At that point they're still sending down here to the sims. The level might be a little bit different now that you made it that. Um, but basically what you do at that point is drag these into different tracks and then you can just get rid of the sampler altogether and save on some CPU because there's a lot of plugins going on and all these things. So, so once you got your groove down, you can just get rid of all that. Just have your um, just have your loops, and then you can do more processing and arranging with all of it. Um, also, if you're experiencing latency while recording, what what I do is I will just mute. Um, the sense and record dry and that makes it so it's not processing any of these effects here which there's a lot so that helps a lot it, it, it'll cut down on the lat latency a lot so anyway this is uh, what I got for you and I hope this helps somebody so yeah, like I said, I made this beat in, in no time, didn't really have to think about it, just drug in some samples from my new free sample pack that's out. Um, I got a couple and I'll also link those uh, sample packs in the description below. And uh, I hope you all have a great weekend, and remember, life is short, treat all your people really well. Have a good one. Two squad cars down here.